Mind everybody, kind of how we like to do it. Um, and, and it comes from when I got arrested on campus years ago. I wasn't allowed back here. And the president at the time, Lucas, decided he was going to make this cheer. And, and that was going to be uh, kind of you know, the, the, the way of helping to celebrate. Uh, because you know we're here to fight the law, but hempology is about more than, than that. This is really, as you see, a celebration of our culture. And so uh, th this is the conclusion of it. The way we like to do it is, uh, you know, we put our hands down and take a big breath, and, and we do this descending woe. And then when we get our hands in the air, take a second breath, and if we all yell 420 together, uh, they'll be able to hear it in that security truck when they're still going home. <laughs> Yeah, we need it to be loud. <laughs> we have 42 seconds of silence each and every week that we hold in respect to the victims of the war on drugs. And there are many different victims of this drug war, some more innocent than others. Certainly the gang violence that's occurring in Vancouver right now is a, a stark reminder of how dangerous this war can be and, and is in other countries like Mexico where, where thousands of people are being killed every year or over this drug trade that could easily be legalized around the world and, and regulated and uh, control a, a lot of problems and uh, again uh, there's there's many victims of this drug war and uh, because of those people that are in jail in particular for growing cannabis we have this 42 seconds of silence so i'm just going to ask everybody to jump into it with me i'll give you a countdown of three please and then 42 seconds of silence for victims of the drug war starting in three two one Cool, thank you. I smoked two joints before I smoked two joints, and then I smoked two more. I guess I'll give a reminder, Gail's signing up students. Uh, we, we haven't hit 420 students at this year, and we need to do that. There's just some kind of like internal drive to reach that number. So if you could sign up uh, to the club, uh, you get a button, and we give out prizes, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, yeah, but like I say, Dana doesn't come here very often, so I'm going to give him a couple minutes here to talk about Bill C-15, something that you can uh, help uh, him and, and me and everybody else that loves this plant uh, fight uh, the government, at least the conservative government, uh, against. So uh, thanks again, Dana, for coming, and uh, yeah, you got a few more minutes here, buddy. All right, well, thanks. Well, that was my passionate speech there, but I'll just talk a little bit about this new law that the conservatives want to introduce called Bill C-15. And if this law passes, very bad things will happen to our marijuana community, to the cannabis culture, and to many of the most vulnerable people in our society. And we have to do what we can to stop this new law. This new law will introduce a mandatory six-month jail sentence for growing one marijuana plant in your home. This law will introduce another six-month mandatory jail sentence for people like Ted Smith that sell marijuana through a medical dispensary or anything else. If you have more than a certain relatively small amount of marijuana for sale at a time, then you get six months in jail. I can't get into all the details right now, but it's been really exciting to take you know, uh, our, our club and, and our, our experience and try to do something for the greater community uh, to, to make some real changes, and, and it, it seems that that is, is quite likely to happen. And, 